Hey guys, what's going on here? It's Evan here from TechBite. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best absolute quality out of online broadcast software or OBS. So basically what you want to do first off to get started is go into your settings menu which looks just like this and we want to go down to encoding. Now the default encoder should be set to H.264 which in my opinion is the best. We also want to look at our max bit rate. We want to set this to 3500, our quality balance to 10. I believe use CBR is by default checked, so you want to make sure that's unchecked. You can pretty much just copy these settings here. Audio doesn't matter as much. That's up to you, but this is what I have it set as. You want to check use custom buffer size and then set it to 0. Broadcast settings doesn't really matter. Then go to video and our video adapter is whatever our graphics card is. I have a GeForce GTX 750 Ti. Uh, our base resolution, uh, I have it set to 1920 by 1080. Uh, resolution downscale, check that to none unless you really want to. And for FPS, set that to 60. And what that does is it makes the video a lot smoother. So you're going to notice in this video, as I drag this around like this, you're going to notice it's really smooth. And this also, guys, just a quick heads up, uh, the amount of quality and performance you're going to get out of these settings also depends on your computer. So if you don't have a good computer and a good dedicated graphics card, I don't recommend doing this. Next, audio doesn't matter as well. Hotkeys doesn't. Now we want to go into advanced, and you pretty much just want to copy these settings here. Now, if your CPU supports multi-thread optimization, then you want to check that box. And then we want to go... And just copy these settings, uh, 900, uh, very fast, to, you know, just pretty much copy these settings you see here. And I'll give you a second to do that. But basically, these settings allow OBS to run a lot faster. And correction from what I said before, I referred to OBS as online broadcaster software. I meant open, and that was my mistake, guys. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much, uh, very nice program. And if you use these settings, you're going to get the quality you see here. You see very smooth when I move this, when I move the mouse, very smooth. 60 frames per second does make a difference. Um, I really recommend doing this. And if you guys have any questions about OBS, uh, which is what I generally use um, to record things, uh, then just feel free to ask me them because OBS is a really nice program um, besides XSplit. And I highly recommend using it, especially for games. So I'm going to hit OK here. And that's it, guys. And now, like I said, if you'd like a uh, reference to what these settings will look like, just watch this video. I mean, when you see, like, when I do things, you know, it's, it's really nice how smooth the footage is. And 60 frames per second is twice the FPS of normal, you know, standard YouTube video, 30 frames per second. So, as long as you save it like this and you upload it in 60 frames a second, you're going to get really nice quality. Once again, my name is Evan here for TechBite, and I hope you all enjoy this video, and I hope you find it helpful. Thank you, and goodbye.